Hi guys, James at Rampant Lion Reviews again for you today with another beer review. For this one we are going to head down to Wales for the first time in quite a wee while actually. And this is a brewery who I've seen in quite a few beer shops actually and uh, I've heard some good things about them so looking forward to trying this one for you today. So for this review we are going to go to a little town called Mould in the northern part of Wales and we're having a taste of my first beer from Loca Poly. So this one is their Simcoe Stout, it comes in at 6% ABV and this brewery are actually kind of more Aimed for their IPAs and pale ales and stuff, but I thought, you know, it's not very common that you'll see a beer called Simcoe Stout, a dry hop stout beer. I thought, you know, this is the most unusual one that I've seen out of the ones that are here. Let's go for that. Um, so we'll see how we get on with this one. As always, I hope you guys enjoy my take on it, and I'm sure it will be a fairly interesting beer. Like I say, I've heard some good things about these guys. But anyway, as is usual with my reviews, then I'll tell you a little bit about the brewery. If you want to get straight to the tasting, of course, just fast forward. All the usual links are in the description below. That's the brewery website the link to my other reviews that hopefully I can do in the future from Loca Poly. Very first time I'm trying one of their beers, like I said. There's all the usual social media. If you want to see more beer reviews, do please consider subscribing to the channel. The whole channel, of course, has a geography-based tagging system, so you can go into the homepage and search for beer based on country, city, state, county, prefecture, whatever it is you're interested in. Do check out the playlist of beers from different countries. There is one there for all the Welsh beers that I've reviewed for you, and that's being added to just whenever I can. And as always, please do get in touch and let me know some of the other beers and breweries that you guys would like to see me review. It's always great to hear from you guys that are watching the videos and the support that you show the channel is hugely appreciated. So anyway, on to my brewery notes then to tell you a little bit about Loca Poly. So as I mentioned to you, Loca Poly are based in Mould in Flintshire in the northern part of Wales and it's run by two guys, Aaron and Sean, and they were founded back in early 2018. So Sean had a brewery previously that was called Black Brook Brewing, which ran for around 18 months, but he was realising at the end of that time that he couldn't produce the beers he wanted for cast conditioning so he decided to go with a complete rebrand he dissolved black brook and uh, went with loca poly but the name loca poly comes in two parts it comes from two different things so loca comes from his brother james's graphic design project which was called loca island and uh, then poly comes from their horse who used to live in the barn before she was moved to other pastures and um, but the brewery is based in that barn of course as well and that did house the graphic design project as well but aaron had been running a restaurant and, and uh, bar and he became known as the the beer guy in the town so he was approached by Sean to come in as head of sales and he deals with a lot of the business aspects of the brewery while Sean concentrates mainly on the brewing but at the moment they're focusing like I said on IPAs and pale ales and stuff like this and um over the next little while, they do want to try and uh, experiment with uh, stouts and other kind of styles as well. Um, so as I say, this is the only stout I think that they actually produce at the moment. Most of their beers are pale ales and IPAs and some of the other guys, some of the English guys that are doing beer reviews as well, have reviewed those and said that they are pretty good. So looking forward to trying the stout beer. That's all you really need to know about the brewery for just now. So if you want to learn a little bit more, check out the brewery website in the description below. I'll put the Facebook page in there for you as well and you can follow them and see um, how they're getting on. but for a brewery that only started in 2018 I think they've got somewhere between 15 and 20 beers they're all listed on their website of course but you know that's a pretty impressive kind of uh it's a, pretty it's a pretty impressive repertoire, if you like, for a brewery that's only been on the go for around six months or so. So impressive stuff from Loca Poly. And as I say, these beers are becoming fairly widely available in uh, a lot of beer shops and a lot of good beer shops and things like that. So, yeah. So I'll just let you have a little quick look at the artwork from this one. There you can see. Um, quite nicely presented. It tells you on the back here. Um, about the about the the beer, so it says um, dry hop stout. It uses Simcoe in the hopping. Uh, the malt base is Maris Otter, Naked Oats, Roasted Barley, Chocolate Malt, and Carapils. And uh, the farm actually is called Holland Farm as well. I should have pointed that out. But yeah, nicely presented beer this one. Um, so yeah. I think the artwork, probably the graphic design, is actually um, done by the guy James, who is uh, Sean's brother, of course. But yeah, nicely presented beer, and so we'll get it out and into the glass then. See how we get on. Like I said, 6% Simcoe Dry Hopped Stout. So it should be an interesting one if I can get my nail under it. There we go. So yeah, let's get it out and we'll get on with the tasting then. I'll tell you something. It's really strange. To, be in, to know that you're pouring a stout and then to open up the can and just smell passion fruit right away it's one of the weirdest thing, one of the weirdest things you'll ever do as kind of a, a beer nerd if you like but yeah as you can see with this one it's poured a nice dark ebony rosewood colour so there's a solid half finger or so of a frothy 
um, slightly beige coloured head on the top of this one, one or two big bubbles sticking towards the side of the glass and quite a few little ones heading up towards the bottom of that head there but you know overall it looks pretty much as you would expect a stout to. If I hold it up to the light there's maybe a wee tint of a dark kind of chestnut-y cola coloured edge to it but you know overall looks as you would expect for a stout beer. So let's take a closer look at the aroma then and just see how we get on but as I say these passion fruity notes from the Simcoe are really uh, coming out of this beer in, in swathes if you like. Yeah, that's it's really interesting that. It almost has a little bit of a kind of orangey quality to it as well but Simcoe it's, de it's definitely passion fruit there's passion fruit and orange coming out of this one, but it's got a nice roasty malt base to it. You can definitely smell a little bit of that kind of roasty black malt coming out of the beer. There's definitely a bit of an almost brown bready quality to it as well, which will be the Maris Otter and some biscuity sweetness. Yeah, the Maris Otter, it, the Maris Otter is a really distinctive thing because it does give you this kind of big bready quality, kind of grainy bready quality to the aroma. And you can definitely pick that out. There's a bit of the biscuity note, which I'm guessing will be the Carapils malt that they've got in there. But yeah, a little bit, not really any chocolate or anything, mainly a roasted kind of black malt coming out of this one. But yeah, a little bit of, maybe a little touch of earthiness from the hop as well. I do wonder if they've used like another kind of bittering hop in this one. Or if it's just a, a purely citra hop to... Uh, Stout, if you like, it's maybe. I'm interested with this one just from the aroma. It really does smell a little bit more like one of the like, like a black IPA or something like that. The aroma of this beer actually reminds me a hell of a lot of a black IPA that I uh, that I brewed that I home brewed. One of the first beers that I ever home brewed actually. But yeah, definitely a bit of uh, passion fruit in this one. It almost comes across as a little bit orangey. Some roasted black malt in there. Good bit of bready quality to it as well. Sort of brown bready note. That'll be coming from the Maris Otter. And that's quite a distinctive um, kind of quality to it. But yeah, it's it's an interesting one. That There's maybe a little touch of brown sugar in that as well. But not that much. It's more of a kind of biscuity sweetness from the carapils. But it's very kind of straight up in its aroma, so just take a little bit of time and enjoy the aroma of the beer before you get stuck into it. But let's have a taste of this one now. So this one is the Simcoe Stout, a dry hop stout beer at 6% from Loca Poly and Mould on Holland Farm in Wales. Let's get stuck into this beer then. Slanger, skull. It's an interesting one that, it is actually really smooth. Yeah, what I'll say about this is that I like it, but it's a really, um, it, it's really quite an unusual beer to be honest. Um, I don't, I mean, this is one of the confusing things about this. Um, in terms of the malt base, because it's probably one of these technicalities, to be honest. It does have a bit of chocolate malt and stuff in it. Um, in terms of me, you know, the, the question for me would be, is this really a black IPA? You know, it's, is it a black IPA rather than a stout? And generally, you know, a black IPA is defined... You, in my experience, as have as a stout malt base, but with um, you know the IPA type hops, you know that's that's kind of what you expect, and um, but they've gone for calling this a Simcoe stout, which is quite interesting. And in fairness, the malt base on this one is smooth. It's that you can feel the oaty creaminess in this one, so it's almost in a way it's almost a little bit like a New England black IPA in terms of its flavour, which is kind of interesting. I mean the style brackets don't particularly matter. I've never been one for trying to get bogged down on defining an exact style of a beer, um, but with this one, I'm really not sure if it's if it's sort of right to call it a stout from its flavour. It doesn't matter, of course. It's a good beer, like I'm saying, but it's an interesting thing. Yeah, I mean, it's I, I like how this one comes across. So let's just concentrate on the flavour for just now. So. In the middle of your palate then you can feel there's a little bit of a roasty black malt just forming the linchpin of this beer and it comes out a little bit more as you move further and further into the aftertaste. 
On top of that though, you can feel there's a nice bit of bready quality there and that breadiness does actually come out a little bit more as the beer opens up and as your palate adjusts to it. There's definitely a little bit of a chocolatey sweetness in the middle of your palate as well and some of the biscuity qualities kind of come out of the beer as well. The malt base in this is really nice but you can definitely detect a little bit of the almost kind of creamy quality uh, from the oats in this one. So yeah, it's 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 an interesting one. This, I mean, as I say, my only question about this beer is, as I say, they've they've called it Simcoe Stout. Is it more of a black IPA than a stout? Um, and I'm not sh I'm not sure about that to be honest. I, re I really don't know. Um, but the style doesn't particularly matter. The main thing is that it's a it's a good beer. But um, it's I, I mean I have to admit, if I blind tasted this, I probably would say that it's a black IPA. But you know, breweries can kind of they can call their beers what they want. I would, I'm not really sure where you would draw the line between you know calling it like a, a dry hopped stout and uh, and a sort of black IPA if you like that. But the main thing is, it's a nice beer, and I definitely like how this one comes across. There's a little touch of earthiness from the hops in the back corner of the palate. That builds a good little bit of, um, it builds a good bridge between the kind of black malts to the beer and the sort of hoppy side of things. As you come further forward along the, the, the sides of the palate there, you can definitely pick out, there's a little bit of a kind of slightly floral note and then round the very front curve of the tongue, it's a little bit lighter and grassy. Then just behind that front curve of the palate, there's a little bit of a, an oily bubble and that's where your nice fruity juicy esters start to come out of the beer. And yeah, for me with this one, um, definitely the passion fruit coming out of the beer, and that's the Simcoe, you know, the trademark of the Simcoe hop is the, is the passion fruity flavour. As you go further into the aftertaste, and because of the malts, I mean, the hop, the, the fruity esters that come out of the, the hops, I think, can they, the flavours can change a little bit depending on what the malt's mixed with. There is a little touch of a slightly red, um, I think there's just a very little hint of a kind of candied red fruity quality to this one which is quite interesting and that'll just be because of the malts that the, the hops are that, that are in this beer it can give you the impression of some different flavours so it's almost a little bit like the, the little heart shaped sweets out of Haribo Star Mix it has a little bit of that kind of candied um, fruity quality to it but the main thing for me with this is um, you know the question is always is it a good beer? Yes and um, the one thing as I say that confuses me about this a little bit should it be called a black IPA? I'm not quite sure, but it's a, it's a nice beer and I certainly wouldn't hesitate to drink it again. So well done to the guys at Loca Poly um, for this one. If any of you kind of beer nerds are watching, I would be interested to hear a little bit of debate on that. Should this beer, if you've had it, be called a black IPA or is it right to call it a stout? What exactly would the difference be? But I guess the sort of creaminess, the OT um, qualities in this one, that m may well kind of define it as a stout rather than a black IPA. Sometimes the black IPA may just be a very kind of straight up malt base. When I brewed mine, it was basically paleo malt, a little touch of caramel in it as well to sweeten it up and uh, a little bit, a bit of roasted black malt in there as well. So maybe it's the kind of cream, slightly creamier uh, mouthfeel that's in the, in the malt base that defines this as a stout. But as we say, beer styles, they're always kind of fine lines. You shouldn't sort of box in beers like that. The main point is whether it's a good beer or not and this one for me ticks that box so that's the main thing. Let's leave it at that. So yeah, in terms of the mouthfeel of this one then Yeah, I would go with mid-bodied for this mouthfeel. Carbonation is very very smooth Um, overall the mouthfeel does have a little bit of wetness to it. It's a little bit creamy at the same time. That's the influence of the oats, I would say. A little bit of hoppy bitterness to this one. It's not going to blow your head off in terms of IBUs by any stretch of the imagination. Um, there's a good balance in the malt base between the sweetness and the, the roastiness as well. Um, and in terms of the fruitiness, it's got a nice fruity, juicy quality to it. In the aftertaste, it's a bit of the earthy hop, some of the roasted black malts, and then the fruity character. They're all kind of balanced there. Um, there's a little bit of a kind of 
as I say, that the, there's a good balance between everything that's going on in the malt base. The roasted malt black bone, the bread on top of that, a little bit of the kind of sweeter caramel and chocolate in the middle of your palate. The creaminess of the oats is in there as well. And as you move further out towards the side of the palate, you've got a little bit of the, the biscuit equality in there as well. But overall, like I said, it's a it's a nice beer, this one. I certainly wouldn't he wouldn't hesitate to drink it again. And it definitely makes me curious about these uh, local poly beers. Um, you know, as I say, maybe it's a black IPA, maybe it's a, a dry hot stout you know a, a good way to for me to describe this would be like almost like a kind of new england black ipa if you like i think that's probably a good kind of compromise um between the different styles and stuff but overall it's a good beer and that's the main thing that matters so yeah let's leave it at that for this one so this one was the simcoe stout a dry hop stout beer at six percent from loca poly in on holland farm near mold in the north in flincher in the northern part of wales a really interesting beer this one and i'm glad that i was able to review it for you guys here so once again thank you for watching my beer reviews until the next time please like subscribe share all the usual youtube stuff let me know your own thoughts on this one in the comment section below let me know what your favorite beers are from local poly as well i'm sure i'll return to these guys in the fairly near future but it's been great to review this one for you and i hope we'll see you guys again soon slides just now and i will catch you guys later the simcoe stout from local poly in wales let's go